What we have here is a Cyclone intake manifold from the JDM Mitsubishi Galant. Uh, the main difference between these and the US versions we see on our DSMs is the dual runner design. Uh, they have flappers on half of the runners that uh, stay closed in the low end for greater torque. Uh, open up uh, you know, as the RPMs and the boost level rises to give you full flow. Um, the problem we have uh, people using them here in the States is that it's hard to actuate them without the ECU from the Japanese cars. What a lot of people have been doing lately is using wastegate actuators from turbochargers. What we have here is a basic uh, T25 actuator from a second generation DSM. Uh, it's a pretty simple design actually. We have a, a pretty easy bracket that we made here just to mount it. Uh, pretty simple. The actuator arm, pretty natural design. We didn't do any, any uh, critical bending or nothing. Uh, basically it comes down, we just shortened it. We took the original actuator arm, if you're familiar with the, the intakes here, that comes from the actuator. And uh, basically just got it in there, uh, welded the two together. This will now make this PSI activated. Should open right around 12 PSI, start to open, and be fully open before 20 PSI, uh, about 18 to 19 PSI. And do a short demonstration just to see how it works. Our compressor is regulated at about 20 PSI, just to show here. And that's it, pretty simple design. Should get improved turbo spool and low end torque, and still have some good top end power when everything opens up.